Hey, what's going on guys? I wanted to do a very simple quick video review of the game uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot that I put the finishing touches on uh, yesterday if you look at the date of making this video. I put the finishing touches of this game yesterday um, at about 23, I want to say about 23 hours, 24 hours of the new RPG style they decided to go with, which I was extremely excited for when I heard about this. So I'm gonna give you guys a very simple review, um, not getting too in depth, I just wanna give you guys the ins and outs of what I thought. Being a Dragon Ball Z fan, quickly put, I'm gonna say if you are a Dragon Ball Z fan, this is an absolute yes, just for the nostalgia reason. Um, you get to do a lot as far as the environments in the RPG elements and every world you've seen in the R uh, Dragon Ball Z series. You get to see everything. I mean, I'm kind of in a Goku's hood. If you ever watched the Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z series, this is pretty much Goku's hood. Uh, being able to fly around just about anywhere in the map uh, in the process of uh, running into enemies. And luckily they give you this feature where you don't have to like, you don't have to fight the enemies. You kind of can just fly away from them, which is... I'm trying to get too involved in the fight right now, so I'm going to talk to you guys. Find a nice place to like, stop moving up. Nope, someone sees me. Anyway. Oh, shoot. No, you got me. Ah, let me fly away. I'm going to find a place to plant myself so I can talk. Ah, so I'm going to cut up and pressing buttons while trying to do this video. And that should be... it there. Okay. So... Yes, if you are a fan of Dragon Ball Z, this is a yes. Now, if you are not a fan of Dragon Ball Z for a $60 price point, uh, one of the major issues I have with this game, and this is a major issue, is, uh, again, 23 hours, 24 hours of gameplay, but I would say I spent a good, man, half of that, if not even more, in load screens, cutscene load screens if you want to see the story of its entirety you can skip the cutscenes you can speed through a lot of those scenes if you so choose but the load screens whoo man oh man that was rough um that's probably one of the biggest negatives in this game as i was playing through it i found myself with the controller out of my hand for those cutscenes because obviously i wanted to watch some of the movie i wanted to see what they changed and they did change quite a bit to make oh, work. Hey, um, doing Kakarot? But as far as the the bigger problem was that the the load screens really dragged this game and make it feel very unbearable at times. So that's the honest front. If you're gonna play this game, even if you're a fan, beware of the load screens. It's gonna be bad. It's it's a lot. Uh, uh, it's a lot. I can even show you one right now. Watch. I'll go to a. Uh, someplace else. Every time you do uh, anything and you go someplace, you will see this screen, this bright screen, and then a quick recap and the load screen. This is what you're going to see. Just the heads up. Now, uh, during my playthrough, I will say if you're going to play just the story, there's going to be some sticking points. Uh, I'm going to make another video talking about some simple mechanics that I think you should do in this game. But uh, just so you don't get stuck if you're looking just to play through the story. Now, again, if you are a fan playing this game, a huge fan, because of that 23, 24 hour play to over 20 plus hours, you might as well just go through your submissions. Um, how you find those, in case you, did, in case you need to see it, um, are those blue exclamation marks you see? See, look at I. Went to another screen, and guess what? Low screen. Oh, my God. This is what killed me, guys. I am, I'm not going to lie to you. This is what absolutely destroyed me in this game emotionally. Um, so, yeah, just know that. I can't, I can't stress that enough. If you buy this game and are a fan, get used to the screen. Get used to the screen a lot. It is constant. It is always going to happen. Uh, come on. Load. Now, I'm hoping in the next generation consoles, I mean, this problem never happens again. I mean, this was this is what really kills games, in my opinion. Even as beautiful as it is to go into these open worlds of Dragon Ball, 
Um, as beautiful as this is, okay, as beautiful and gorgeous as all this is, I can fly anywhere. Those low screens just kill. So, um, so yeah, if you're gonna play this game and you are a fan and you're gonna put in that time just to see some things in the story that you are familiar with or even unfamiliar with, if you're not a huge Dragon Ball Z knowledge person, um, you're gonna be looking for these blue exclamation points. When you see them, do them because it, you won't be able to touch them until after you beat it. Now, I beat the game. Like I said, I beat it and I started to think about what happened so I can make a little video on it. And I wanted to play some of these blue exclamation points to see if that gave me more. And it frustrated me more because even a lot of the RPG elements, the RPG elements in this game are bleh. That's all I can say. They're awful. They're, they're, they're not very good. The explanation on just about everything is bare minimum at best where you don't know some things. Like I said, I'm gonna make another video kind of talking about some of the things that I missed in the very beginning that I figured out as I kept playing. So just know that uh, going in. So yes, if you are a fan of Dragon Ball Z, uh, definitely a, a buy so you can enjoy some of your things that you've seen throughout the series and enjoy it in a different fashion where you can play through areas and see things you probably didn't see during the cartoon. Uh, if you are new to Dragon Ball Z with that price point, I don't know, man. Um, you can go on uh, Crunchyroll. This is not a Crunchyroll sales pitch at all, but you can watch the whole Dragon Ball Z series the way it was supposed to be watched and the way this was kind of remade. I don't know. The, the Super Saiyan part of this thing was very underwhelming in my opinion. Uh, Vegeta's Pride episode during the Boo saga was underwhelming i mean all the big scenes to me were, were eh, at best it wasn't delivered great but again it told a different version of it and got through so yeah that's a simple in a nutshell uh the load screens again very killful in this game so just be ready for it so that's a simple version of it i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, i hope you if you buy it you enjoy your playthrough get ready to sit through it and yeah, I'll make another video giving you guys the basic tips that you should do if you start a playthrough so you know how to really get the most out of the players. And so you don't hit those sticking points. To me, if you go just through the story, there's some sticking points that you should know and carry some items with you and how to use those items uh, during play uh, so you can not get stuck at those uh, spikes in the game where the difficulty just shoots way up. So again, this is uh, gonna be a new channel. I'm starting where I create uh, content where I give you a simple review and maybe some game information you should have to enjoy the game that much more. Uh, please click like. Please tell me what you think of this game if you played through it after watching this video or you're just watching it because you played through it. Uh, what did you think about those load times? Uh, tell me down in the comments below, please. I, I thought they were the death. Uh, I almost literally wanted to stop playing this game constantly. Um, but I found myself because I'm a fan. I wanted to get through it. I wanted to see more. And even now, I want to kind of get through the blue exclamation points to see what the future holds. Will there be downloadable content and where that could potentially go? So leave something in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, click like, click subscribe, and more videos on the way, guys. Thank you for watching.